A new nasal antibody treatment may change the lives of people living with a particularly devastating form of multiple sclerosis. Hi, I'm Dr. Tanuja Chitnis, a Mass General Brigham neurologist. Multiple sclerosis is a neurological condition that triggers the immune system to attack the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves. This causes scarring or sclerosis to myelin, the substance that protects nerve fibers. The scars disrupt signals in the brain. MS symptoms can present as attacks or relapses, where symptoms may develop slowly or quickly. They may come and go over the years and get steadily worse. Some of the symptoms of relapses include numbness, tingling, or weakness in the arms and legs, often on one side of the body, memory and mood changes, difficulty thinking and concentrating, balance problems, vertigo, and difficulty walking, bladder and bowel problems, and vision changes, including double vision or loss of vision. In the later stages of disease, relapses and symptoms do not improve, and slow worsening occurs. This is called progressive multiple sclerosis. Paralysis can occur in the progressive stage of multiple sclerosis. MS often develops between the ages of 20 and 40. Women are three times more likely to get it than men. In 1868, French neurologist and anatomy professor Jean-Martin Charcot first defined the symptoms of MS and gave the condition its name. Charcot's account included detailed drawings of microscopic myelin damage. Treatments remained elusive until the 1950s when doctors discovered cortisone steroid injections could shorten and reduce flare-ups. Because symptoms vary so much between people and flare-ups are unpredictable, MS can be difficult to treat. We don't have a cure, but disease-modifying treatments that can decrease the number of relapses include drugs that deplete B cells, affect T cells, and eliminate some populations of immune cells. There are also medications that can reduce symptoms, which include muscle relaxers and antidepressants. Stem cell transplant is a treatment where we remove, treat, and replace your own cells to reset your immune system and stop it from attacking the brain. Stem cell transplant can help people who have frequent relapses. Unfortunately, there are no FDA-approved treatments for non-active secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. Physical therapy and exercise programs can help you move better and reduce stress. Nutrition counseling can improve your overall health. Since MS can greatly affect your life, many people find psychiatric counseling helpful. At Mass General Brigham, we're leading a study of a nasal antibody called Feralumab, which could prevent immune system attacks. We've tested the drug in healthy people, and now we're testing it in people with non-active secondary progressive MS, a form of the disease that causes steadily worsening symptoms. Feralumab is a type of monoclonal antibody, a lab-made protein that encourages the immune system to fight diseases. We already use monoclonal antibodies to treat certain cancers, migraines, allergies, and other conditions. Researchers are also testing Feralumab to see if it can treat other conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and other neurological diseases. Early studies show people with MS have less fatigue and better physical function when taking nasal Feralumab. This treatment and other drugs in clinical trials hold the potential to help millions of people living with MS. Visit Rally massgeneralbrigham.org to search for all our current multiple sclerosis trials. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Tanuja Chitnis. For more Clues to Cures videos, click here and don't forget to subscribe here.